from zero to 140 volts AC. But when I hook it up to the power source, actually nothing happens. And I'll hook it up right now. I've got uh, 250 turns of number 30, uh, 30 gauge wire basically. All right, now I'm gonna turn it on. Bingo, it's on. And it's not actually levitating. I can take a magnetic end and I can feel the magnetic field around this thing. And it is alive with a magnetic field. I can feel it. It's not really getting hot. I've measured the internal resistance. It's 175 ohms. Um, I'm going to turn it off now. Um, and I have this thing set at about 120 volts. If I put this thing over copper, I'm actually holding it and it's warm, but it's not real hot. Um, over copper, on, no reaction. I'll take it and I'll put it over aluminum. This is an aluminum plate here, uh, 11 gauge. I'm going to turn it on. Still nothing, no reaction. I am feeling a field around it, but there's no reaction. Okay, I'm turning it off. Now I'm going to place it over the wood again. Turn it on and nothing. Okay, now let's try something else. Let's go to DC. Basically, I'm going to disconnect my leads and put in a common, uh, I forget what you call it. It's a bridge rectifier. It's a bridge rectifier. And what it does, it takes the AC and turns it into DC. So I'm going to hook up my AC current, my AC power source. And I'm going to use some test leads. Uh, the yellow here is positive, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. Um, I'm going to hook it up to my same leads and um, try it again. Okay, AC comes off the two corners. Okay, now we're going to now right now we have DC power. I turn it on, there's no reaction. Um, as a matter of fact, but I feel, I can see that, it actually is reacting a little bit to the magnet because it is generating a magnetic field. Okay. Now, I'll place it over, that was over wood. Here it is over copper. It is warm. Again, no reaction. Here it is over an aluminum table. I turn it on, no reaction. Okay, pan up to me. So, all I can say is I don't know if, uh, if we're doing the same thing that Boyd Bushman did. It seems to me that his uh, ring of wire got hotter and got hotter faster. So maybe he's actually using a much thicker wire or he's passing uh, more current through it, you know, with a higher voltage source. Um, anyway, I haven't been able to achieve the same results as Boyd Bushman and I'm a little disappointed, uh, but I guess I'll keep trying. Uh, by the way, I did invent Thermocap, and it took about a year and a half to two years to finally get it into some of those major chain stores with a lot of help from Mr. Gasket. So uh, if you need one, it'd be greatly appreciated if you go down to the store and buy one, because <laughs> that's how I feed myself. Uh, okay, thanks.